So it's becoming more and more popular to regrow or propagate your produce that you buy from the grocery store. I mean, if we can get multiple uses out of the things we pay for, it would be kind of silly not to. So how do we know which vegetables we can propagate? Well, the best veggies are the ones that are going to contain a little bit of the original root structure, like uh, onions or leeks, bok choy or romaine, garlic. What it comes down to is noticing this little rough spot on your produce. If you look on the bottom of the onion or garlic clove, it's really obvious on celery and romaine. This little rough area is where the roots are going to regrow from. So I cut this celery yesterday and I placed the bottom in tap water and then I put the jar in a window uh, where it's going to develop a root system. So after about a week or so, and you've noticed some roots have started to develop, we're going to go ahead and move this over to a cracky setup. So why we didn't just start it in the cracky setup? Really the tap water is just to trigger the hormones to kick in the growth. Once that happens, it's actually on autopilot and it's not until it gets a little bit larger that it's going to need a lot more from the water. Uh, I want my final ppm to be 1200, so I'm going to make my initial concentration 600 ppm. And I'm going to prepare the plant for a much longer grow session, using what I already know about setting up a cracky garden. So one really great way to fill out your jar garden is to use it as a staging area. What I mean by this is my celery, for example. I don't expect it to fully grow within the confines of this small jar, but I will let it develop for like a month or so and then transfer it to a larger crack key or a DWC setup where it can really stretch its roots. Or my garlic or onions. Once they develop, they're going to grow way better in an aeroponic setup because they're root vegetables. On the other hand, there are things like my spring onions here. This is actually their second crack key setup because I allow them to grow and then I trim off the chives, I keep them growing in multiple cracky setups. I also found these plant collars to be useful when propagating. The baskets just don't work as well in this application. However, the seal should never be airtight on a cracky setup. So I cut a small straw and I fit it near the stem to allow airflow to the roots. So if you are constantly moving produce in and out of your cracky garden, you could be saving a decent bit on your grocery bill and growing stuff in your garden that you're obviously eating. So I'm currently propagating celery, garlic, white onion, and elephant garlic. Recently, my whole garden froze, um, so I'm actually having to regrow everything. And I found that, you know, propagating um, and cloning are, are two great ways to get plants in your garden fast. This video is about propagating cuttings from your produce that you get from the grocery store. And I'm also working on a video about cloning plants like basil so make sure you're subscribed for that one and let me know if this was helpful down in the comments thanks guys